Welcome, this is the grade three math practice test for T and Ready. On this version of the test, which is the 2019-2020 version, this is question number one. Which expression is equivalent to two times, that's what the X means there, the quantity, and when I mean the quantity, when I say the quantity, I mean in parentheses, five times four. So the best thing to do when I start this out is just to figure out what the value of this expression is. What is two times the quantity five times four? In order, to, in order to do that, I'm going to use the order of operations. I do order of operations as a pyramid, which is to say I need to handle specific application and computation in a specific way. I need to do add and subtract in a certain way. I need to do multiplying in a certain way. At the top of my pyramid is parentheses. Then it's anything with an exponent. You probably haven't seen many of these, but we have that. You'll get to that later. Trust me, it, it won't go away. The next level down is actually multiply, divide, but it could also be, so I'll put or here, divide, multiply. No matter what multiply tells you, it's not better than divide. That's just gossip. So it could be either one. You just need to look at them as they go left to right. So if you have multiply first, like in this case, it's just multiply, so no worries there. Um, but divide may be another situation. The final step is add subtract. And of course, that could also be subtract or add. So whichever comes first to the left. Now, I'm going to do parentheses first here, so I do 5 times 4, so I'm going to write all the steps out, because that's what I do. 5 times 4 is, of course, 20, and 2 times 20 is 40. So, what's the whole deal with 40? What can I do with it? Well, I mean, you could just check your answers to see which one gives you 40, or we can think about this logically. The reality is, multiplication is commutative, which is to say that it doesn't matter what order you're in. Three groups of five is the same as five groups of three. So if the only thing that is different in your expression, or the only operation available in your expression is multiplication, which is true here, it doesn't matter what order they're in. It doesn't even matter really what order you group them. So if I take this one, two plus five times four, this is a clear violation of our agreement that it would be the same as this one because there's an addition sign there. 5 times 4 would be 20, of course. And then I'll add 2 to that, and it gives me 22. That's nothing. I don't like that one. You're out. But this next one has, it's like a shining star. Maybe it can help us. So 2 times 5 times 4. You'll notice the numbers are in the same order. It's just where the grouping has changed. 2 times 5 is 10, of course. 10 times 4 is 40. So that's look pretty good. I'm going to choose that one. Now, am I going to be done with it? It depends on how much time I have left on my test. If I feel like I have an infinite amount of times, and I know some of you have taken tests where you did feel like it would go on forever, then maybe I would check the other ones. If I'm kind of the type that tends to take a long time, I might just say, I'm pretty confident in that, and move on. Figure out which type of person you are in testing situations, and just go with it. If you are the type who likes to check and double check, do it. That's fine. Just adjust other parts of your system. If you are the type who doesn't check and there's been no penalty for that, check if you have time so you go back at the end and check. Never be that person who never goes back and checks because that's a huge negative. Now, 2 times 5 plus 2 times 4. So we'll try this. 2 times 5 is, of course, 10. 2 times 4 is, of course, 8. And 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. That's nothing. And this other one is gigantic. 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 4 is 8. 20 times 8, well, 8 times 2 is 16. I'll just tab that 0 on at the end there. That's not 40 either. So my answer to number 1 is B. So if you're just working with multiplication, addition is the same way, by the way. Um, it doesn't matter what order they're in. The grouping symbols don't particularly matter if it's just those two operations. But if you get into subtraction, that's a whole other thing. And division, don't even think about it. You can't change the order, but multiplying and adding 
you absolutely can change the order and you'll end up getting the same answer because the numbers or because the operations themselves are commutative.